Hello students, in last class we had learned about gravitation and Newton's law of gravitation. We had derived uh, then F equal to g m1 m2 upon d square is the mathematical representation of gravitation. Uh, two bodies of mass m1 and m2 separated by distance d uh, are attracted towards each other by this force f equal to g m1 m2 upon d square today we are going to uh, more illustrate this relationship what happens to the force of gravitation if mass of one object is doubled mass of one object is suppose mass of a is doubled uh, keeping second object and the distance constant that is we are only changing mass m1 to 2m1 then what will happen to this relationship we see here uh, the force of gravitation at that time uh, is represented by here f dash f dash is equal to g in place of m1 we write here 2m1 m2 and d square or h it was then it becomes 2 g m1 m2 upon d square this whole quantity is here according to this first relationship it is f therefore the force of gravitation when the mass of one object is doubled is two times the force of gravitation of the earlier condition okay then what will happen if mass of both object is doubled both masses are here double m1 is to be replaced by 2m1 and m2 by 2m2 then the force of gravitation at that condition when this mass of a becomes two times of m1 and mass of b also becomes double that is two times of m2 at that time we replace m1 by 2m1 and m2 by 2m2 2 to the 4 and g m1 m2 upon d square this quantity is f that is force of gravitation between two masses m1 and m2 separated by distance d therefore the force of gravitation when to both masses are doubled is four times of the force of gravitation okay then if distance between their centers is halved keeping both masses constant suppose both masses are same uh, as it is m1 and m2 and the distance is half instead of d the distance would be now d by 2 then what will happen f dash will be at that time g m1 m2 upon d square it was first now we replaced with d by 2 square it is d square by 4 if we change into multiplication then 4 will go up and d square to divide uh, then it becomes 4 times g m1 m2 upon d square this is the force of gravitation between m1 and m2 separated by d therefore the force of gravitation also becomes four times of previous force okay uh, we will see more examples Dear students, when mass of both objects are doubled, m1 becomes 2m1 and m2 becomes 2m2 and the distance between their center is half, that is d is replaced by d by 2, then what will happen? We see mathematically here, the force of gravitation at that time f dash will be g, in place of m1 you write 2m1, in place of m2 replaced by 2m2 and distance is replaced by d by 2 
Now, 2 to the 4, g m1 m2 and d by 2 e square is d square upon 4. This 4 will multiply above and it will become 4 for the 16 times of g m1 m2 upon d square. It is the force of gravitation between two masses m1 m2 separated by distance d. Uh, it is represented by f. It means the force of gravitation at that time will be 16 times of the force of gravitation it was previously. Okay, now next one condition we are going to explain. If mass of both objects are doubled and the distance between their centers is also doubled. That is M1 will be replaced by 2M1, M2 replaced by 2M2 and D replaced by 2D. Then F dash equal to G in place of M1 you write 2M1 in place of M2, 2M2 and in place of D you write 2D. Which is equal to 4 times 2 to the 4 times G M1 M2 upon 4D square. 4, 4 will cancel and G M1 M2 upon D square which is yeah, from equation first. Okay, from this illustration we see that when the mass of both the objects are doubled as well as the distance is also doubled. At that condition the force of gravitation will remain constant. Okay, dear students, uh, we have learnt about Newton's law of gravitation and the factors what will affect the value of gravitation. Those are the masses and distance. You have to understand uh, the uh, quantities which are in the numerator of this fraction will affect directly. That is when masses are doubled, the force will be doubled. If both masses are doubled, then 2 to the 4, 4 times it will be, but the distance will inversely affect the square of the distance. If distance is doubled, then the square of the 2 will be 4. That means the force will be reduced by 4 times. If the distance is halved, at that time the, distance, uh, the force of gravitation will increase 4 times. Okay, you can. Uh, exercise for more other examples. Now we are going to learn about gravity. Okay, students, now we are going to explain about gravity and gravity is also termed as weight. When we talk about gravitation, then that is mutual force of attraction. But when we talk about gravity, it is the attractional force of a heavenly body on the objects around its gravitational field. Gravity is the force of attraction of a heavenly body on an object in its gravitational field. Gravity of the earth on an object on its surface is the force by which it attracts its it toward the center of the earth. It is also called the weight of that body on our surface. Okay, when we talk about gravity, gravity is the attractional force of a heavenly body. Uh, so, gravity of earth, gravity of moon, gravity of other planets will be different. And 
uh, when we talk about weight then we are indicating gravity of earth on an object in its surface let the mass of the earth be represented by m and its radius by r and an object of mass m is on its surface then the force of gravitation between these two bodies that is the small mass uh, m small m and the earth each according to newton's law of gravitation it is f equal to g m m upon r square it is earth having mass m and it is the object with mass small m and the distance between their centers will be the radius of r because the uh, radius of this small mass is insignificant in comparison to radius of the earth so it became the force which is applied on this object due to the attractional force of this earth uh, and this attractional force is in fact weight of this object and according to newton's second law of motion you have already studied in class 9 is the product of mass and excellent due to gravity here uh, the weight or force on the object f is equal to the product of mass and excellent due to gravity g m into g both of these equations represent the same attractional force same weight of the object so we can compare these two quantities when we compare then it becomes mg equal to g m m upon r square when we cancel the same mass of the object is small m then it becomes g equal to g m upon r square here g is the universal gravitational constant is value is fixed and it is not altered by any other circumstances so it is a constant and uh, when we talk about a specific heavenly body like earth or mars any other satellite planet then its mass will be also constant uh, when we take g and m gm is constant then the relation will be g inversely proportional to r square when we take out some constant then we write equation in by using proportional sign it implies the acceleration due to gravity g is independent of the mass of the object but it depends only on the mass of the earth and radius of the earth mass of earth is constant so we can say acceleration due to gravity g depends only on the radius of earth in this way uh, we can explain why acceleration due to gravity is different in equatorial region and polar region earth is uh, not exactly spherical but it is a bit elliptical so radius toward the pole is short and the radius toward the equator is long when uh, the radius is short then value of g will be more because here r is in denominator so uh, we today explained about why uh, extent due to gravity changes in pole and equator okay uh, in next class we'll uh, continue thank you students